Overcoming a language barrier. It sounds actually a bit difficult. We can listen to something and we can fully understand it. When it comes to expressing our, ourselves and our thoughts, that's where we can meet some barriers. And in this video, I want to give you some tips and tricks, examples of exercises you can do in order to overcome your speaking barrier uh, when communicating with people. So if you're interested, please keep watching. It's gonna work with any language you're learning. So let's get started. If you wonder why I actually talk about this uh, language thing and stuff, like you can check out this video where I'm speaking six, I think six languages. Yeah, you can check out this video where I'm speaking six languages. And there are also some tips and tricks on how to actually uh, study effectively and learn languages effectively. So if you're interested, please check it out before watching this video. After a certain time, it just became easy to speak in any language I started to learn and I want you to reach this point in your learning process as well. So let's do it together. The activities I'm going to talk about, those are directed to actually starting to think in a language because you can learn by heart, of course. In a language like English, for example, you really have to learn to think in a language to be able to form your sentences yourself. My favorite activity is retelling. So instead of learning by heart, I really recommend retelling. It can be anything. So if it's a text, again, you, for example, read it in English. There are some new words, of course, write them down, why not? And when retelling, make sure that you use your new words and that you are not like repeating all the phrases from the text, but you try to put the same idea of the text, but in simpler words. You shouldn't recreate the same text with the, the same advanced phrases. You just have to learn this ability to transform the information you got into simpler sentences. And it will make, I think, a different part of your brain work. And it's amazing. Yeah, so you can do it with the texts, you can do it with audios like podcasts, like anything or videos and you do not have to retell it to somebody you can retell it to yourself and even though there is no one to correct your mistakes it's absolutely fine you just learn to adapt the information you just learn how to compose sentences faster how to build phrases faster and it's a very valuable uh, skill that you will need when speaking to other people another thing which actually really brought me to speak in english was speaking to myself. Because I know that some people live in small cities and there is no opportunity to find a person to talk to. I, I, I won't be talking about like uh, all the internet resources where you can find somebody to talk to. It can be done, of course, but uh, again, for some people, maybe they are shy or they're not comfortable, yes, speaking with the people they don't know. So this exercise can be easily done on your own without involving any, any other people, is talking to yourself so, for example, you come after school, after university, after you work, and you just start talking about what, what has happened to you during this day. I did it every day, almost every day, and it got me really, like, improved my, um, my level of speaking, because if I didn't know a word, I checked it at the spot, and I used it immediately in the, in the next phrase I was saying, and it really helped you to speak faster, to think faster, and uh, of course to enrich your vocabulary. So definitely do it. Then uh, another thing you can find is again um, a video, text or audio with questions. And if you have any questions or any uh, true or false exercise with the uh, sentences, just do them orally. For example, like you have to say whether the sentence is true or false. And instead of just putting like le uh, letter F or T, you start explaining why it is true, why it is false, uh, giving your arguments. Again, uh, you start speaking. You start transforming the information you got from the audio or you got from the video, from the text into your own words. And that's the process we need. That's the skill we need to develop. Uh, another cool thing is images description. So that, that can be adapted to the topics you are learning in a language. If you learn like food vocabulary, you can just type in Google like food or Christmas table. So something where you could see food in the picture and you can just start 
uh, start describing it. You can come up with a story. Like you, if you see a family, you can imagine what they could do, where they could work, what would they prefer to eat. You shouldn't limit yourself with time because you're not like preparing for an exam, right? You just learn to speak. And uh, yeah, choose any picture. Try to describe it using the uh, like as many words as possible, uh, touching as many topics as possible. And again, it will improve your speaking greatly. Uh, last but not least is the word description. Uh, he here are uh, like two games, uh, word description and word association. For example, if you talk about word description, you learn, um, again, you learn a certain topic, for example, food vocabulary, Let, let's get to food. You want to remember the words better, and of course you want to improve speaking. And you can just write down the words which you, you need to practice, or even the words you already know. And you try to give the description in the same foreign language, not in your native language. And you'll be surprised because at first it would be very confusing. You would say, how can I describe an apple? But you can say that it's uh, like a red fruit uh, with the round shape, blah, blah, blah. And you can again come up with any stories you want because it's just for you to practice your speaking. And you'll be surprised uh, how, again, differently your brain will work in this direction because it's something simple. Like, like, yeah, it's it's a simple word, but it can be really hard to describe it, and you have to come up with some unusual ideas, maybe. It's definitely working. And talk about word association, it's also an interesting exercise. For example, again, you can write down some, like, absolutely, like, the simplest words you, you already know. For example, word summer. And then you have to think what associations you have with this word. For example, summer, for me, it's like summer house apples, fruits, uh, I don't know, the sea, and you just come up with some, uh, with some uh, word associations, but to make it more interesting in terms of speaking, you can also come up with some situations. For example, if you hear the word summer, what story comes up, like pops up in your mind, for example, and you are sharing the story again to yourself, or if you have any other friends, like uh, people who learn the same language, you can do it together. So all of these, um, all of these activities, they can be done uh, together in a group, you can take your time yet to uh, to find some information and then to discuss and share it together. So I hope that you, you will actually try to use those activities I shared because they are actually really working uh, and I recommend them to anybody who's learning a foreign language at the moment and really want to advance their speaking skills. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want any other language related video. I'll make sure to film it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and Goodbye.